Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to learn how to use SQLite in a Python and perform some basic database operations. I recommend you to use SQLite if you want to create a small to medium app or you just want to test your program. Because SQLite is easy to use and set up plus it doesn't need any server to be run. Ok, let's go forward and start coding. SQLite is a built-in module, so you don't need to install it. All you have to do is to import it. And in a Python, the module is called SQLite 3. When you have it imported, the first thing that you have to do is to establish a connection to your database. So I'm going to create a variable, and I will name it DB. And I'm going to assign it to SQLite3.connect. The connect method uh, will return a connection object that we will use to interact with the SQLite database. It takes an argument and it's the path of the SQLite uh, uh, database file. If you specify database file name that already presents on a disk, it will connect to it. But if uh, it doesn't exist, it will create a new database for you. I don't have any database, so I will just give it a name. I will call it db.sqlite so as you can see in this folder I have just my python file now I run it and you will see we have a new file and this is uh, our database which I gave here now we have a connection we can create a cursor object which allows us to execute sqlite commands to do that I'm going to create a new variable I will name it cursor then I will assign it to db.cursor method. With the cursor created, now we can use the execute method to run SQL commands. So I can type cursor.execute and it takes a SQL query as an argument. So, for example, I can create a new table by using create table uh, query and I will name it the users. It will have four columns one ID column and it's integer and it's also primary key and by primary key means it should be unique for each users so we can identify users by uh, this column then I'm going to create a, another uh, column uh, for name and it's a text and text is like a string in a python then the username column and it's uh, also text and the email column and it's a text as well okay now i i'm gonna run this code so it will create that table for me so as you can see uh, i didn't get any error and it means that table was created successfully okay now table is created probably you want to add some data into the uh, into the database uh, I will first comment this part because if I don't it will try to create a new users table and because I have already a users table it will give me an error which will say that uh, the table already exists anyway we wanted to add some data we can do it by typing cursor dot execute then uh, I will use a insert a statement to insert data into the table so insert into then uh, tables name so users then values and for values the first column was uh, id so i will give it zero as id then name i will uh, call it uh, or i will name it ernest ernest jacobs And for username, I can give it uh, Ernest uh, underline Jacobs. And for email, can give it uh, Ernest Jacobs 20, maybe. At sign uh, yahoo.com. Okay, now before you run uh, this code, you have to make sure that you commit this uh, this change uh, to the database so you can do it by typing db which was uh, our connection to the database 
then uh, uh, commit and uh, that's it now you can run it okay I got no error and it means that uh, this user was added uh, successfully to the table now we added some data to the database you definitely want also to get data from the database so to do that I'm gonna comment these lines first because I don't want to add same users twice so now I can type cursor dot execute and we are going to use a select a statement to select all users uh, from the users table so select all users from users table now to retrieve this data uh, we have to call fetch all method then uh, we will uh, then we will have to store them in a variable so i'm going to create a new variable and i will call it users then i am going to assign it to cursor dot uh, fetch all method fetch all method will return a list of rows from users table so we can look through them and print each row so for a row in a users print row okay now i run this code and as you can see we got the user that we added in this line okay let's uh, add a new user to the table but this time i'm going to use placeholders for values and not just write them directly into the uh, sql query so i can write it and you will see what i mean by that i'm going to create a new variable and i will name it user then i will assign it to a tuple and this tuple is actually our user so it will have a one as a id and a john smith as a name and john underline smith as a username and for email john underline smith at sign yahoo.com then uh, to add uh, this user to the table we're going to use a uh, insert a statement uh, which we had used before so cursor dot execute and insert into users and for and for values uh, we're going to use placeholders as i said so to set a placeholder we can use a question mark so one question mark for a id one question mark for a name and one for a username and the last for a and last one for a email then we have to give it the user as a second argument so a user will be second argument to execute now then we have to commit this change to the database so db.commit then i will run this code so you can see now we have a john smith as a new user in a table and uh, lastly i want to show you how to delete uh, data from a database so i can type cursor dot execute and uh, we are gonna uh, use a delete statement to delete data uh, from users and we can filter uh, uh, filter rows by using where uh, where command and uh, we will delete uh, a user which has a id1 then uh, i'm gonna comment these uh, lines because uh, it will try to add it again now i run it and as you can see now the uh, John Smith uh, is deleted from the table okay guys uh, it was all for this video I hope uh, it was helpful and uh, if you had any question you can uh, leave it in down below so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video